Okay, now this is still gonna look bad, and that is because these are not inside of a canvas. So we're gonna start and create ourselves a canvas. This is just gonna be UI. And we're gonna change it from screen space overlay to camera overlay and drag in our main camera. And then you can see that this now snaps to the same viewport as we're seeing inside of our game. It's just gonna make it a lot easier for us to create UI. And because the camera is just static looking at this one area, we can just keep it that same way and it will look the same when in, in all aspect ratios. And if I right click on my UI now and create a UI image, we'll move this over here and I'll drag the coin box onto that. And you'll find now that this will scale nicely with our ratios. Now, if you had just dragged this in, it won't actually scale very well. It'll look terrible. Even if you try to drag that directly onto the UI, it's still gonna look terrible. Um, so make sure you create that as an image and it'll give that nice um, scaling that we've set up. So I'm gonna call this points board. So now we're gonna create a UI. We will have another image. I'm just gonna stretch this one to the size. So I'm holding Alt plus Shift and then clicking that. Then we're gonna set this to 575, maybe 100, and then maybe 575 again. And then we will drag on our new potion box select sprite that we've got here. So that looks pretty okay. You can play around with this. This is really just purely for us to see. So if I were to have a look now, my potions fit perfectly inside of there. Obviously this isn't actually currently aligned. It would be possible for me to have this board in a misaligned location, but for us in these purposes, it's, it's fine. So we've got our points board. I'm going to add IMG just so we have that as our background image. And then we'll call this potion board IMG. And the reason why I'm adding this suffix at the end is just because we've already got a potion board. I don't want to have multiple objects called potion board and not know what they are when I'm looking at the UI. Now inside of our points board here, I'm gonna add a UI, we're gonna add a text text mesh pro, and we'll have to import TMP essentials here. And once that's imported, we don't need the extras or examples or anything. We're going to top left align this. That's a, again, I just always hit alt and shift to move it anchor as well as its location. And I'm just gonna drag that down a little bit. We'll expand it out a bit. And I'm gonna add this and just say points and colon and we'll just put xxx and that's just how we're going to know that if we haven't hooked this up correctly and it says xxx we've obviously not done it right some people put zero here but then it looks like uh the points just aren't going up and they are hooked up so this is just a great way for us to know that it's definitely a problem call that points text i'm going to duplicate this i'm going to left bottom align it and we'll move it out the same way and we're going to call this one goal xxx We'll call that goal text and then we'll move duplicate again and we'll just move this one up a little bit and we'll call this moves. Okay, so that gives us our goal. I can turn gizmos off so you can see it a bit better. But that gives us our points, our moves and our goal. And we'll rename this one moves text and I might just drag that above so that hierarchically it matches what it looks like here. Add an extra X. And we've got our points, moves and goal. And now we're gonna jump back into our game manager and hook this back up. So inside of here, I need to create a few text mesh pro elements. So I'm gonna create a public TMP underscore text, and that is going to tell me I need to be using TM pro. So we'll add that using TM pro. I'm gonna call this points text, and then I can just copy and paste this twice. We'll rename this one to moves, and we'll rename this one to goal. And now we just need to utilize our update method. So in our update method, all we want us to do is just constantly update what our points text is with what our actual points are and so on and so on. So I'm gonna say points text dot text is equal to, and I'm gonna add in that obviously points because I don't just want it to display the number. So we'll say points dot to string. And then we do the same for the other two. So we've got our moves become our moves becomes our moves and the same with our goal. Okay, and that's all we needed to do for that. Now I'm going to create a new game object in here, an empty, reset it to transform to 000, and rename it to game manager. And we'll add our component of our scripts, game manager. So with our game manager now, we haven't yet created our panels, but we have got our texts. So we're going to say UI points text is equal to points text 
moves to moves, goal to goal. Now let's just make sure this works real quick. I'm just gonna set these two random values and we'll make sure that this works. So if I hit play, what we'll find now is that displays the value that's in there. So that's good. That looks like it's working fine. We'll reset our points to zero and I might just make moves 10. So we're gonna do probably a one potion equals one point. And when you make a match three within 10 moves, you should guaranteed be able to win this, but we'll obviously be able to win faster and we'll have that display in the victory screen or the loose screen. So the next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna create the gray background and then the victory screen and the loose screen. So we're gonna say UI, I'll create a panel this time. And this panel is gonna be called our gray background. That gray background, we might just give it a bit more of an alpha, I think, and then make it a darker color so it looks like it's actually there. And then we'll create another UI. This is gonna be an image. We'll rename this one victory screen and duplicate you. Actually, we'll leave that empty for now. I will just duplicate the victory screen when we set it up. So let's go back into sprites, simple UI. Let's just use the same box that we had before. So this box here and then we can expand it out a bit. This is not usually how I would set up UI. I do have a shop tutorial that shows you the setup. I just wanna get a few things on pages that make it look nice so we can at least see things and it starts to come together a bit nicer. So that's okay for now. We're gonna have our UI screen be about that. It'll just come up with a green text that says victory and it says you have won in however many moves and then a button that will take you back to a different scene. So inside of here, create a text mesh pro Drag that up, we'll call this one Victory and change its color to green in this case. That seems fine. We will bold it and we will center it. And that's okay as is. And then we're going to create another text in here. Congratulations, you won in X moves and scored X points. And now we can Maybe drag this up a bit and move the text down a bit and just in general align it a bit nicer. And we will center align this text, center align it as well. And I might italicize this and just drop its size down to let's say a 30. Now the reason why we're obviously we're putting the X's in here is because we're going to replace this with the actual values that we got. And we're going to rename this congratulation relations text and we'll call this victory text and then add a button in here ui uh, button text mesh pro just bottom align this and drag it up a bit and we will replace that with i think this button here that's kind of okay let's give it its natural aspect ratio size so it at least fills out correctly and that looks like it also fits quite well just as is and then we'll just replace the text with back to menu. We might size up it to maybe 28 and we'll make the text on this white. Okay, so if I turn off gizmos, it looks something like this. You've got a little button there. I might move that button up just a bit more. A little bit pedantic. There we go. But we have a nice quick and dirty victory screen and a background panel and our point scoring as well as our potion board. So all we need to do is create our loss screen as well. Reactivate this, we'll duplicate this whole game object and we're gonna call this lose screen. Obviously we'll have to replace this with lose. I'm going to just turn this game object off so we don't see it. And with this lose text, we're gonna make it red, something like that. And we'll say lose. And we'll call this unfortunate text. <laughs> Unfortunately, you only got X points in X moves. Better luck next time. And spell unfortunately correctly. Okay, so now we have a nice quick and dirty loss screen as well. And we can minimize this as well and minimize our gray background. And then go back to our game manager and let's drag these in. So we've got our victory screen being our victory panel, loose screen being our loose panel, and then gray background being our background panel. So now everything for this is mostly set up correctly. Oh, I did realize 
we need to make sure that this button here has a game manager script on it that is going to be win game and the lose game is also going to have the lose game. So game manager here, game manager, lose game. Okay, we can save that now. I can again get rid of this and we've done all of our UI. I'm also just going to drag my game manager higher in my scene. Uh, it's just more of a parent object to everything else. Okay, so now that we've finished off our UI entirely, it's time to make this work with the rest of our potion board. And we're actually going to do a quite a large refactor, so we'll be tackling that portion in the next video. As always, these videos wouldn't be possible without the support of my patrons. In the diamond tier, we have infinite canvas. In the emerald tier, we have demand games. In the gold tier, we have castle coders, Zope, and maths math. In the silver tier, we have Sunday Roast, Jim Hawkins with Halloumi, and Hickey92. Thank you all. If you'd like to sign up, the link is down the bottom right there. It's patreon.com slash and I will see you guys in the next video.